Good day viewers, you are welcome. How to solve this nice system of equations where we have x plus y equals 6 and we have xy equals 36. So to solve this, we consider this as a solution. So we have two equations there. Let's say for equation 1, which is given as x plus y equals 6. So what I will do here is, let's try to make y the subject of the formula. So there we have y equals 6 minus x. So we have to consider this as equation 3. Then let's recall from equation 2. It says x, y equals 36. That is, we have already formed equation 3 which will make y the subject. So let's try to replace that y in this equation too. So our new equation becomes x into bracket of 6 minus x equals 36. So by this, we try to open this parenthesis. So with x, so x times 6 that is 6x minus x times x, we have x squared equals 36. So by proper rearrangement here, so let's try to let this start as minus x squared. And a is plus 6x. Then for this, I can write it as minus 36 equals 0. So then after getting to this stage, so here is negative. I don't want to start this equation with negative. What I do is I'm trying to multiply 2 by negative. So we have this as negative x squared plus 6x plus 36. So we have to multiply it with minus and everything here equals zero then minus times minus that is plus x squared here is minus 6x and here is minus uh so sorry this was negative before and this because plus 36 equals zero then we now have a full quadratic equations so let's try and solve this using a quadratic formula. So what we do here is we have to consider their coefficient first. Coefficient of x squared is just like a and here is 1. Coefficient of x here is b and that is minus 6. And coefficient of uh, the constant value here is c and we consider this as 36. So therefore Let's write out our quadratic formula. x equals minus b plus or minus the square root of. So square root of b squared minus 4ac divided by 2a. A is our quadratic formula. So let's put all these parameters in this formula. So that we can get the root. We have our x equals minus open bracket minus 6. Because the value of b here is minus 6. As part of the coefficient we get. Plus or minus the square root of minus 6. Minus 6 squared. Minus 4 multiplied by 1 multiplied by 36 divided by 2 times 1 then we have this as x equals 6 plus or minus square root of minus 36 squared so that gives us it gives us 36 minus 4 multiplied by 36 then we are going to divide everything by by 2 so in the next step, we have 
So if this is what we have in this root, then a becomes our x equals 6 plus or minus the square root of so we have 36 here that is common to them so let's take out 36 from here and we divide this one by 36 we have 1 minus divide this one by 36 we have 4 divided by 2 and here we have x equals 6 plus or minus square root of 36 multiplied by a is minus 3 divided by 2 so from here suppose we have square root of a times b this equals square root of a multiplied by square root of b so we apply it and here becomes x equals 6 plus or minus the square root 36 multiplied by the square root of minus 3 divided by 2 and then so we have our x equals 6 plus or minus square root of 36 is a perfect square we have it as 6 multiplied by so we separate this as square root of 3 times minus 1 divided by 2 so by this, we have our x here equals 6 plus or minus 6 multiplied by square root of 3 multiplied by square root of minus 1. Everything divided by 2. Then we have x equals 6 plus or minus. Here is 6 square root of 3. So root minus 1, that is i, divided by 2. And from here... You can see that 2 will go in this, so so that this one will reduce to 3 plus or minus. So this one is also 3, root 3i. And here are the first two solutions for the value of x. And let's see how we can get the solution for the value of y, where we are going to recall from our equation 3. You know, when we call from equation 3, we have our y equals 6 minus x so this is our equation 3 so when we try to substitute the value of x here into this equation 3 we have 6 minus open bracket 3 plus or minus 3 square root of 3i so and by trying to open this with this negative here so what we have here becomes so what we have here becomes x equals 6 minus 3 minus plus 3 square root of 3i divided by 2. So here we have our x here. So there's something like divided by 2 again, sorry. So here is 6 minus 3, that is 3, minus plus 3 square root of 3i. And here is the result to this problem. Thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe. See you in the next class. Never stop learning. Bye-bye.